Hi, I'm Trevor Diamond, an intern at the House Divided Project at Dickinson College, and today I'll be showing you how to use Genius.com for educational purposes. So here we are on Genius homepage. Genius was founded in 2009 as RapGenius.com, a place where fans could upload the lyrics to their favorite rap songs and then annotate them to explain what those lyrics meant. In 2014, the website went through a rebranding effort, keeping that base template of annotating text, but not being rap genius, simply genius. So they've expanded to all different types of music and then also news and education services. So you can see on the front page, music is still the main source of traffic on the site. They've also begun publishing articles about different artists and songs and becoming one of the major sources of music news in the United States. They also have News Genius, which we'll see a little bit later, and we'll see the education service they've recently launched. But the first thing we're going to do is add a song, the most simple thing you can do on the site. So we have our free House Divided account. It's quick and easy to create an account, and it's just as quick and easy to add a song. We're going to be using this 1851 letter that Abraham Lincoln wrote to John Johnston off of our Lincoln's Writings House Divided site. So the author is Abraham Make sure that your spelling is correct. Abraham Lincoln, and it is a letter to John Johnston. The primary tag shows the breadth of options that Genius offers you. We're going to use history, but as you can see, there's news and tech and literature and sports, along with different types of music genres as well. So the lyrics, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and we're just going to copy and paste the text. Paste it in this box. And then you can move down to additional metadata. You can put in featuring artists or produced by or written by. It's not really necessary here, but if you're posting transcripts from websites, that's where you would put it. And then you can edit the release date as well. So we can scroll down to 1851. Right there. And then we can January 12th. And then we're going to include the SoundCloud URL. So you can also include YouTube videos that will come up once the site is published. We have a SoundCloud recording of the letter. You can hit submit. So this is our unannotated letter to John Johnston transcript. You can see here's the SoundCloud so you can listen to it while you read. But we're going to start by annotating. So you can just highlight a section and then hit Start Genius Annotation. And then we're just going to put sample annotation and that's our first one so as you see it's in a sidebar you can click away and then click back and there it is and you can edit it and then you we could put additional content and then write added content just to describe the edit Hit save and what's really great is that you can see if it's done by multiple contributors you can click on how many and then you can view all the edits that have been made and if you want to have your page go back to say the first one you can hit revert and it will change the annotation back you can also add images and videos so we'll just take this section start the genius annotation and we're going to add an image so we're going to take this image of Thomas Lincoln the image address, paste it here, hit select, and it will load all up. We can then write Lincoln's father Thomas, hit save, and there's our annotation again. So it's, as you can see, it's really easy and really fast to start annotating a document. These are just sample annotations. This is a letter that was written to Horace Greeley from Abraham Lincoln that we've also put up, which much more complete annotation. So as you can see, these have much more information than just a sample one. And they have a video link as well. We can edit it and see how you just post the URL and it will come up. That's different for videos than it is for hyperlinking text. So you can see in the About section, we've hyperlinked Lincoln's writings. We can hit Edit to see how we did that. When you're hyperlinking on Genius, you need to put the text you want in brackets and then the link itself in parentheses. That's the only way you can get the text to come up. If you just put the URL, it will come up as simply a URL and it won't look as clean. 
as you can see these annotations are green it's the same thing that comes up on for example the annotated lyrics to the opening song of the Hamilton musical that means that the annotation is verified so these annotations were done by Lin-Manuel Miranda who wrote out who wrote Hamilton and these were done by the House Divided site so it's great it's a great way that genius is showing that these are not just being annotated by anyone but also the people who are writing these documents or historians or authors are going through and editing the content and then we can also go down to the bottom of the page and see the embed feature so that's what we clicked on briefly here this is the lincoln's writing site and this is the transcript with the genius annotations in it so we can click on it and just like on the site the sidebar will pop up with the explanation it's a great way for if you are creating your own website as a teacher you can put genius annotations in your own site so students don't have to go scanning through on genius but can just go to your website but get the same resource well, let's move over to the news section genius recently put up michelle obama's democratic national convention speech and as you can see just like any song this is the speech transcript and then you can click on it and a genius staff member has linked to donald trump's speech and also posted a little explanation so this is all through the news genius service so news genius is just like for songs but for news they have speeches articles they have this vox article which we'll use in this example so i clicked off of this off of the news genius site and so when you click same thing as on the house divided site the sidebar will come up so it allows you to read articles on the internet more thoroughly when you're seeing the annotations it allows people to comment and have a dialogue while they're reading these articles through the genius annotations so news genius is just one more step in moving genius forward and then the most important part for teachers is education genius education genius is a way for you to create your own semi-private space for yourself and your students so that if you're uploading say a copy of romeo and juliet your students can interact with each other and edit that document and when they edit it they'll get iq points that's how genius measures how much you've put into the site and as a teacher you're able to measure that and see how your students are participating with each other online for homework or just for fun the way you do it is by emailing genius once you've created for a created a full account emailing education genius and saying i am a teacher i'd like to create my own private account it's a great way to move forward and begin to use the internet and begin to use the site as a way for students to interact with each other online I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on Genius.com. Be sure to check out our YouTube page full of a ton of other tutorials for educational resources. Thank you.